I accidentally learned Python. Let me explain. The story dates back to the end of summer, when I discovered this thing called Manim. It's a Python library that lets you create animations using code. They look super clean. You probably see where this is going already. I make YouTube videos. So when I have a gap in my editing timeline, there are a few options. Keep showing the same thing. Boring. Add stock footage. Also boring. Add a crappy GIF. Not boring, but crappy. <laughs> or create a sick looking animation. Obviously, the last one is my favorite. The problem though was that I had no idea how to do it. So I decided to learn it with no programming knowledge. Okay, it wasn't like I hadn't seen a line of code before in my life, but it would have been a crime to even call me a beginner. I could have told you what things like variables, lists and loops are, but I wouldn't have been able to do anything with that information. And needless to say, learning how to make an animation from scratch with code wasn't easy. I did hit a few minor roadblocks along the way that almost made me quit three times. One of them during the installation process. That's how much of a pro I am. And after that, it took me a good couple of months to get the basics because there weren't that many good clear resources for complete beginners. That's why ultimately I decided to make a course about what I learned. Well, there was one other reason, of course. Money. I wanted to make money. And that's one of the main points of the video. Learning skills don't just unlock pathways to other skills. Like learning Manim helped me learn Python and to navigate the terminal, which before was a black box for me, they can also help you make money in ways you didn't think possible. I mean, there was no way I would have ever thought I'd be making a course about it when I almost quit trying to install it. But it just so happened that I browsed around the World Wide Web and wanted to find one for myself. But most resources were either outdated or assumed I was way above my skill level when it came to Python. So later, when I had learned everything I wanted, the idea to create a resource like that for someone like me naturally popped into my head. And now it has like 20 happy students and 5 5-star reviews. This would not have happened if I had not started learning it in the first place. And mind you, it was all because I wanted to plug some holes in my editing timeline. Pretty much the same weird compounding happened with two other skills, Photoshop and Premiere. I started learning how to use Photoshop from OG YouTube tutorials because back in the day I thought it was cool to do face swaps of my friends. It ultimately led to trying out Premiere because I thought I was already familiar with one of Adobe's programs and that would make it easier to learn another one. And all of that ultimately led to my YouTube channel, and from that my YouTube course that leans heavily on editing videos in Premiere, all from wanting to do face swaps. Thinking about all of this made me realize a few things. Number one is that when you try to learn a skill, you'll end up learning a bunch of other bonus skills that you didn't even consider at the beginning, like learning Manim taught me Python and how to navigate the terminal. So you'll not only know that one skill, but also two or three other ones. Number two is that learning something is a lot easier when you're not doing it for just the sake of it. Having something to use that skill for makes you learn faster and remember the things you learned better. Pick a project first, a thing that you want to do, and then learn everything you need to do that project. For example, with Manim Animations, my first project was just to learn how to write text on the screen because I loved how nicely it appears. The next project or thing I wanted to do was animate a bunch of shapes in weird ways because I thought it was fun. Or with Premiere Pro, my goal wasn't to learn Premiere. My goal was to make a YouTube video and not knowing how Premiere Pro works was just an obstacle that I had to overcome in order to do it. The third realization was that when you learn a skill, it not only is an asset, that keeps paying you dividends for the rest of your life because you can't unlearn it, but also that that skill compounds with other skills. Look at this. This is typically how learning a skill looks like. At first, you start off learning a lot, and then as time goes on, it becomes diminishing returns. This is with most skills. However, I think that the skills you learn compound over each other like this, exponentially. At first, you learn a bit of Photoshop, then dabble with Premiere, then start your first YouTube channel. It fails, but you learn something. You start another one. It fails. You start the third one. Make 100 videos. Still nothing. But eventually, if you keep going, all the skills that you learned and the side skills that you learned from learning those skills will compound and yoink, this happens. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is even if you think you're here, don't stop learning. The curve isn't linear. It doesn't go like this. Eventually the yoink will happen and have a nice day. And also, if you want to learn how to make these animations, I made a quick, not so quick, tutorial about it. So you know, you could maybe click on it.